Okay, this is the edition of Pimp My Filter by Pimp My Title. As you people know, uh, Title uh, is a pretty nice filter. Uh, it's one of the first hang on backs I've actually bought. Um, quite a long time, actually, because I run mostly canister filters. Um, I'm doing some research online and even my own observations have kind of uh, come to the conclusion that there's quite a few areas this filter can be improved upon. Uh, at its base, it is a pretty decent filter. Uh, it comes with a uh, pretty high-end pump, apparently. I, I don't know. I mean, it does work pretty good. I have one running right now. Um, main problems with this thing is which has been identified by a lot of places, people, everything. I mean, first of all is some people may or may not want that surface skimmer. Um, the problem with uh, the surface skimmer and even when you look at uh, this piece here, which is uh, for your down to, where's that piece? to be missing it. I'll hold this. Alright, this is for your down tube to go down. Right? Put down for a sec. I'm just going to put these two pieces together. Like that. Right? So the problem is, is that not only do you have this spot on the filter that's open, not drawing directly from here, but you also have this spot underneath, this piece actually clips to the motor, which I have off right now. Um, basically just goes like this, and that's how it works. But because you've got this on the main filter, and then this down here, also, look at the actual tube itself. It's only a half moon, so half of the flow is being restricted through this tube by design. So your little thing that's supposed to like flapper it, right? Because usually this guy's on and this allows you to either close that right off and use just the down piece here or open it. So I personally like being able to draw water from the bottom of my tank um, and that's one of the biggest downfalls of the whole way this, this system is designed. Not to say that it's not good because, I mean, you do get filtration mid-level and, and lower level, but you're not getting maximum, um, lower level, um, filtration because it's, I mean, right off by design. You can see that it's, it's messed up. So, <clears throat> the plan is... Uh, to basically modify this, I'm going to fill these in with silicone. I, I, I'm basically going to eliminate surface skimming completely off this Title 55. I have another one that's in my axolotl tank. I'm actually going to be running two tandem 55s. So I'm not really going to modify that one too much. Uh, this one's going to get basically a complete re reconfiguration. So first step is to silicone all this. We'll get that done. That takes care of the surface skimmer. There is no other easy way to fill that in. I mean, yes, you could pull this whole assembly out. This is what holds the motor in there. Um, motor just clips. Like that it just slides in and out, as you can see. So that's how the, the pump actually sits in there. But um, yeah, so that's going to be first. Uh, second. This also, uh, this whole intake assembly, I am going to completely, basically clog that entire intake so that all water is coming from the bottom. And of course, the other thing I have to do is somehow remove that half blockage of the actual intake tubes. So look, you can see it plain as day. So that's coming up. And this whole section is going to be plugged. Of course, this problem has been talked about over and over online. And I've even seen it myself because I've been running uh, the 
other one in the axolotl tank not very long and it's already given me uh, this little feature which everybody seems to love so much this little thing on top of the lid when it starts to overflow it actually will come up just like that and you can kind of see it there you go so that sits there so what happens is as this thing clogs it starts to bypass your media which you don't want ever and it starts coming out and it basically telling you that you have to clean your filter so I've already had this problem and the problem is is which this is actually the original one I've already modified the one that I put back in there this is the one I took out the new one got all fixed already so what I did is I enlarged these holes and I'll take another couple pictures of what it looks like when it's all done so the first step is to get basically maximize that whole thing and we can see like this whole back edge here it could actually be intake but they're only choosing to draw from this little section and what that does it, it actually creates a restriction through the the media um, so the first thing to do is to basically make that bigger and I can already see I just did it today I can already see a huge huge difference in flow just by opening that up so what that means is like from here from here to here now you're getting perfect flow through it like you're getting very good suction once this is all opened up problem is when you get up to this point this is a built-in overflow the water actually or sorry you should call it a bypass it comes up and it can bypass right here so what that means is literally you can't really use from this point up for media so you're basically missing that whole section that you could utilize for uh, media um, extra right um, you can't use it because basically what happens is as soon as you start bypassing it's gonna bypass that media anyway so it makes no difference so the second biggest modification outside of the grate to do to this is to plug this so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, maybe an old credit card or something I'm gonna silicone it and then I'm gonna silicone the slits that are on both sides shut so that not only is the bottom way way bigger it can handle way way more of water flow now it forces it the whole way Okay, I'm back here just to do a full out video on the modification that I've done to the Title 55. Uh, as you guys uh, know, I pointed out all the issues and kind of design issues that uh, are inherent with the Title 55, but, and all the Title filters actually, I should say. Um, but they are a very good filter. Uh, they come with a very good pump and uh, they do have monster media space. So I just want to go over actually what I did to this thing um, and just do a highlight of what actually happened. So we'll start first with the extended siphon tube. I am putting this on a uh, 50 gallon uh, fish tank and this is uh, basically custom length to the bottom of the tank. So this is gonna sit pretty much right on the bottom. Um, so that is uh, one of the just low key mods that I did. Um, something that'll be different in everybody's tank, but easy enough to do. Second modification was the actual um, motor cover, um, or sorry, pump cover. Basically, this is what the intake tube attaches to. Um, you'll notice that now uh, all of the holes and slits have been blocked. Um, so there is absolutely no way this intake will grab from multiple parts of the, the um, cover, which is what it set up originally. 
And the other thing is, is that this is actually partially blocked. Uh, the intake tube port actually has a factory cast that pretty much half moons it. I think I showed you that on the original uh, post, but um, basically you'll never get full um, flow through that intake tube stock. So I removed that piece of plastic that was in there to make it a perfect circle and got rid of all of the other intake ports uh, that are on this um, this pump cover, uh, including the actual dial, which will kind of make it look a little nicer because I know a lot of people will complain about the blue. Um, so of course that's that's been eliminated. So the other thing that I've done um, that a lot of people talk about that they like or don't like, uh, in my case I didn't want this particular filter running the surface skimmer at all. The main goal of this modification is to basically force the pump to draw water just from the intake tube, which is how every other filter works except for this one. Not to say that this mid-level and lower level intake system isn't good. Um, I am actually running two of these, so I want this one dedicated just for the bottom. Um, so that, in my case, is working fine, but um, stock you don't really have a choice because even though you have a selector here uh, it doesn't matter you're always going to be drawing through these ports uh, because you just can't uh, dedicate the intake the way that this is designed um, so the only way to dedicate the intake is to actually plug off those holes and that's what I've done here Take it apart here, here's the lid. Uh, here's the biomedia it comes with. This is actually pretty decent biomedia. Um, I've never run it, but um, from what I can tell, it looks uh, fairly decent. I am gonna try and use it. Um, so that's um, actually in my other filter. So the other filter uh, modification that I've done, of course, is the media basket. This is the one that gets talked about the most. I'm gonna have to put you down again. Okay, outside of that, um, that's the only thing, um, basically, on not the skimmer, that's the only other modification that's been done to the actual housing, and again, that purpose is so that water flow is forced to come through the intake tube versus all the other alternate points that um, the filter is designed with. So back to this, I'm just going to pull out my, my, the way I have it set up. The first thing you'll notice is that I have uh, enlarged the intake ports big time or the intake crates on the bottom. Um, I found with the one that I was running, I've only been running it for a week. Um, I haven't touched it yet. Uh, I have modified the basket now, but um, basically I was already getting within a week and it is not dirty it's not a dirty tank so I mean there was a little bit of crud build up there but it wasn't wasn't enough to justify this baby starting to come up already and basically what that means is that water is starting to overflow through the stock ports that are open right here and here and of course in the front um, and why it's doing that is because the intakes are, are actually quite small uh, at least on the 55, I, I would imagine the 75 and 110 is similar, perhaps a little bit bigger, but uh, I wouldn't hesitate to open it right up so that you're getting full, um, basically, area surface to the bottom of those sponges. Speaking of sponges, you'll notice that I've got quite a few of them in here. So, uh, this is kind of a, a hack that uh, comes from the Fong Guru and a couple other people. Uh, basically, I'm running the four different coarse thicknesses. Maybe some people will only run two, some people only run coarse. Um, but basically, <clears throat> this is the filter that comes with it. Nice coarse sponge. Uh, will not do any sort of polishing, though. As you can see, you can actually see right through that sponge. So it's good for catching the big stuff, which is why it's on the bottom. Next one is a little bit coarser or sorry, a little bit finer. Um, again, you can kind of see through this one. And then we just progressively get finer and finer. 
So basically I've got four levels of sponge in this filter, plus the media. So without this cover mod that you can see here, um, the piece of plastic that I have that I have silicone across there, basically what happens is you only get usage of the bottom, like full uh, water flow through the bottom of the filter. As soon as uh, it's able to not make it through those bottom sponges, it your, your water will actually start bypassing out of these two slits in the front, two slits in the back, and one big one in the front. And that's when um, <clears throat> basically you start to see this guy coming up. And that's, uh, again, didn't take very long in my situation for that to happen. So um, basically what I've done is I've covered all of that up, enlarged these ports, uh, which I have since also done to the other filter. And this little problem has gone away. You can also notice that the water level is not um, coming by the tray like when these things are actually running you can actually see it start to but the water you'll see the water level start to bypass here as it comes up instead of coming through the media and that's because those slits are allowing the water uh, to basically bypass everything which you don't ideally really want I see why they did it um, but <laughs> this is the mod to make it stop so hope that helps everybody uh, with their titles uh, it is a very cool filter I love the auto part or the art <coughs> excuse me auto start function of it um, and it does have a monster media tray um, and especially when you get up to the 110 that media tray is quite a bit bigger um, so this will give you maximum efficiency through the filter and um, again if you want to basically use your intake in a uh, basically a standard fashion setup uh, instead of splitting between two separate areas well, three if you count the skimmer uh, because <laughs> basically in stock form you're pulling water from your tank from here here and here versus a standard hang on back that only comes through the the intake tube and and the reason why <laughs> you might want that is because um, you want your maximum intake pressure to be down here uh, on the bottom of the tank to pick up any waste or anything that's floating around on the bottom of the tank. Um, the, bo the bottom part I've, I've found over the years is the best place to have um, your filtration in most cases. Uh, not to say this doesn't work, this setup, uh, but I do have two of these on my tank. So my other tank or my other uh, filter, I haven't done any pl plugging of any of the uh, intake ports, so I still have the surface skimmer, I still have the mid uh, draw, uh, and also the partially blocked off intake on that one. I have modified the media trays on that one though. Um, so I've already got one filter that's kind of taking care of that spot, so really there's, it's really useless for me in my mind to have them doing the same function. Um, this filter setup will uh, basically be dedicated to the bottom of the tank. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys out. Again, this is uh, this particular filter is the Title 55. It's, it was brand new when I started hacking.